Are you serious? Are you serious? Earthquakes! Earthquakes! Oklahoma! 4.2. Powerful, very shallow earthquake hits in Oklahoma this morning. Matter of fact, over the last 24 hours, Oklahoma's been really feeling a lot of shaking going on. And uh, this 4.2 really rattled causing some minor damages in some of the people's homes. Uh, 4,600 people are without power in Edmond, Oklahoma, where this 4.2 earthquake hit. Matter of fact, uh, initially it was reported as 4.4 by the U.S. Geological Survey, downgraded to 4.2. But there's no question Oklahoma is shaking. And the fact a 4.2 earthquake is only 2.3 kilometers deep, which means this it, it had an, um, uh, a very powerful effect, even though it might have been a, not as strong of a magnitude as, as, as a 7.0 or something. Certainly, when they're that shallow, uh, it's going to rattle some stuff. Well, let me just tell you what else is going on, how many earthquakes are going on. We've got a lot going on. We've had 48 in the last 24 hours around the world, a 4.7 in Papua New, Papua New Guinea. Uh, we had, I'll just do the big ones. 4.2 Indonesia, 4.2 Greece, a 5.2 earthquake in India, a 5.3 in New Zealand, a 5.3 in uh, Chile. Uh, also, we had a 5.3 in Chile again, and then a 4.7 in Peru. So the earthquakes just keep shaking. Oklahoma and Edmond, Oklahoma had a 3.3 earthquake hit there before the 4.2 did. So things were starting to shake. We had a 4.8 in Russia, 4.0 in Dominican Republic, 4.3 in Chile. And then uh, Edmond, Oklahoma had a 2.6. And then Moreland, Oklahoma had a 2.6. Both of them very shallow, around five kilometers. We had a 4.6 earthquake in Kyrgyzstan. And then Yellowstone, the danger zone, that super volcano in Montana. Earthquake, 2.8, very shallow, only 8.6 kilometers. Right on top of that super volcano. Are you serious? 4.4 in Fiji. Then 4.2, Oklahoma, Edmond, Oklahoma, 2.3 kilometers deep. Definitely a strong quake. And then again, Yellowstone. 2.8 2.8 and 2.6 back to back right on that super volcano. Is that thing going to blow? And uh, then we had uh, 4.5 Japan, 4.8 Indonesia, 4.4 Russia, 4.3 Peru, 4.6 Fiji, 5.3 Tonga, 4.9 earthquake in Tonga. And uh, and things just keep shaking everywhere, okay? So, again, 46 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. And uh, we're going to continue to monitor it because Oklahoma is definitely shaking. But it's not just Oklahoma. Boom, 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 all around the world. Strong quakes. And remember, the sunspot, AR-2665, that huge, massive coronal hole on the top of the sun's atmosphere it is rotating back toward us now we will be feeling the pressure from any solar flares or cmes that would be released from that sunspot wide open hole gigantic facing the earth over the next 10 12 days we uh you know this could cause more tectonic plates on our earth to shift causing earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. And so every time I see Yellowstone, 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 I'm thinking, no, and now Oklahoma. And we've got a total eclipse of the sun coming. The great American eclipse, and it's going to go right across this country on on August the 21st. And uh, from the coast of Oregon to the coast of uh, South Carolina, America is going to fall into darkness along this, 70 mile path what does this all mean in these last days earthquakes 
and the sun turning dark and, and the moon will turn to blood. Uh, well, that's all in the book of Joel. But I do have for you Amos chapter 8, verse 9. If you're wondering about all these apocalyptic events, here's what the Bible says. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon and I will darken the earth in the clear day. Well, that's coming. We're definitely going to see that across America, August 21st. Um, and actually in the Bible, solar eclipses happen quite frequently. I mean, not frequently, but uh, periodically throughout the Bible. And each time it was always a prophetic event. And matter of fact, I have a great DVD that I just just got finished. It is at my website. You need to place your order for it now. It is an unbelievable. It's called the total eclipse of the sun, S-O-N, and how Satan wants to totally eclipse Jesus Christ. But in it, we talk about this great American solar eclipse. I have all kinds of PowerPoint presentation, a lot of great research that Heidi Begley did and Mike Childers putting together a powerful, I teach on this. This is the, without question, this is the best uh, DVD I've ever put together. I have historical uh, accounts of past solar eclipses, not only in historically, but biblically, and how it pertains to the end times is certainly there. Also, I talk about the September 23rd, the complete uh, alignment, the constellation, the, the, the woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet and her stars with 12, her, her crown with 12 stars, how, that, uh, how prophetically Revelation 12 is coming to pass and the other wonder in heaven, same day. That's the great dragon, the red dragon, the beast of the end time, the proclamation of the rising of the beast, the seven-headed beast, 10 horns, 10 crowns, of course, it says in Revelation 13. All of this is in this DVD, and don't forget there's an asteroid that's also coming, and that's October the 12th that's going to come so close to the earth, it's going to be unbelievable. It's scary, actually. It's scary. And uh, it is called Asteroid 2012 TC4. I cover all of this in this powerful DVD. You can get it only at my website. Check it out, all right? Uh, I'll be back more. with. We're going to keep watching these earthquakes, and don't miss, don't forget Today's broadcast starts at 12 noon Eastern. It will be powerful. Don't miss it on the coming apocalypse. Are you saved?